in the bustling city of Lagos, the winds of change are blowing. This time, it's an ultimatum from the Lagos state government, a final notice to owners of residential buildings that no longer serve their original purpose. Instead, these structures have been illegally transformed into churches, mosques, clubs, lounges, and bars. The clock is ticking, with only 30 days to evict the occupants and revert these buildings to their originally approved use. Failure to comply could result in the demolition of these structures, a stern move by the government to ensure safety, security, and regulatory compliance. These actions are not arbitrary. They stem from a growing chorus of complaints from residents who are deeply concerned about their safety and the security of their community. The government's mandate hinges on the violation of regulatory provisions, a breach that has spurred this decisive action. The government has made it clear there will be no further notice. Non-conforming buildings will be dealt with swiftly and at the owner's expense. This ultimatum is a testament to the Lagos state government's commitment to ensuring peace and order in a city known for its vibrant and dynamic nature. It's a reminder that while Lagos embraces its diversity and its reputation as a hub for social and religious activities, it must also prioritize the safety and well-being of its residents. In summary, the Lagos state government has drawn a line in the sand, property owners have been given 30 days to comply with the ultimatum, and revert their properties back to their original use, the stakes are high and the clock is ticking. This is a clear testament to the government's unwavering commitment to upholding the law, ensuring safety, and maintaining order in the bustling city of Lagos.